no, not now. Before. Welcome to the Libertarian Counterpoint. I'm Richard Fields on the program today. James Just, Lee Welter, and John Cameron. Welcome to the show. Joe Biden has come under attack for reminiscing about civility with other Democratic uh, senators. Uh, why is that a problem, James? Well, because the Democrat Party is so dependent on, on these uh, racial issues that Joe Biden having a discussion about where, well, I can have, I sit down and have a discussion about people who were segregationists in the past, it's, it's, it literally triggers people. Well, how can you sit down and have a discussion with people? They can't understand how you can sit down and have a discussion to try to train someone's mind. You, just, you, just, you should just disassociate yourself with them completely. The platform well, let's in, talk about them. James, the modern, James Eastland and Herman Talmadge, two of the forget about two of the most two, yes. most, two of the most uh, 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 eager segregationists going back in the 1940s and 1950s, 60s, maybe. What about Robert Byrd? Yes, well, without the, the conversation, you, you couldn't have changed their mind. Well, I and don't so, think their mind was changeable anyway. Well, but. but but you change other people's minds. The whole conversation is what is what actually ended up getting people's mind to change. And so the fact that you can have a simple conversation with people you vehemently disagree with is actually quite important. And the fact that we just ignore that these days, it's it's every conversation becomes uncivil almost immediately the minute someone becomes disagreeing with you. Even if you have strong moral disagreements, you should at least be able to sit down and have a civil conversation with somebody. So I don't like defending Joe Biden, but I'm actually going to have to defend him on here. Well, is this, is this about the, the progressive wing, which is most of the Demo well, maybe a, it's probably a minority of the, of the actual, of actual Democratic voters, but it's the majority of uh, Democratic uh, activists. pundits and activists and yeah. opinion makers. Uh, the, they don't want to have anything to do with anybody that's not as progressive as they are, and, and uh, Biden is more or less the, uh, what, what passes for the more uh, centrist or staid uh, wing of the uh, Democratic Party, and yeah, they want to well, they they push him out. They'll use, uh, as, uh, as uh, the, the communists like to say, by any means necessary. Yeah, well, the California Democratic Party, with this last election, didn't endorse Dianne Feinstein. They, in, they endorsed her opponent because she's too far right wing now. Dianne Feinstein, yeah, okay. Yeah, she's too, so, far right, she's too far right wing now, which is, you know, <laughs> to the rest of the world, it's Dianne Feinstein's a left wing nut job. But in California, she's gone too far to the right for, for the California, you know, Democrat activists, let's say. Not just the rank and file Democrat, the activists who show up at the convention and actually make these decisions. Can I, can I bring up the, the analogy, and, and this is a hot button issue that makes the Joe Biden, James Eastland, Herman Talmadge thing look like a, a, uh, um, a pond on a calm day. Uh, talk about abortion in this country and see what happens. And when I talk to people about it, I have, you know, I'm, that's, that is, anybody who, who can blithely, blithely, whatever, say that, that they're absolutely certain and have no doubts about either one of those positions, I don't think has thought about it. It's very emotional. I mean, emotional. it's a very emotional. And, and, and what happens is that people who believe in a woman's right to have an abortion uh, believe that that's the right thing. Uh, nobody believes that. Well, it, and the point they miss is it wasn't that long ago that that in in the in almost all of the world children weren't named until uh, they were a year old because there was such high infant mortality and infanticide was practiced in just about every um, place in the world and deeply religious and not. But you know you talk to people who are who are pro-abortion. And people on the other side of the coin think they're they're murderers, and you talk to people who are anti-abortion, and people on the other side think that these people are trying to control their body and they're they're gonna stop them. But what they don't realize is that each person on each side has spent an awful lot of time thinking about it, and it's in alignment with their moral code. And the only way that anybody is gonna ever get some kind of working model in place is for people who are diametrically opposed to sit down and be civil to each other. So I'm supporting Joe Biden's idea that, you know, a, a civil discussion with Robert's rules of order rather than shouting down people that you don't agree with, it should be the rule. Yeah, of I mean, I'll agree with that, but I'll draw, I draw the line, though, when it comes to sniffing little girl's hair. 
Well, yeah. Well, that's he, another Vine's idea. creepy in another way. Yeah. That's a yeah. different discussion. Oh, you're yeah. talking about Uncle Pervy, <laughs> Pervy, yeah. Uncle Pervy. No, I'm <laughs> I'm not supporting him in that. Yeah. I am the father of a daughter. Yeah. You are the father of a daughter. Two. There, two. That's right. Well, like I said, I didn't want to be defending Joe Biden, but oh, yeah. in this particular case, in this particular case, case in yeah. this particular I'm case, defending him. And yeah. everything else, eh. Yeah, I, I don't defend his plagiarism. I don't defend uh, no. his. Yeah. He, he's correct here, but you know, he's ca ca right calling there. Barack Obama a clean cut young man or whatever he said. An articulate, articulate, clean yeah. young man. Yeah. Yes, the well, Russian I mean, warship com compared the Russian to Hillary, he is articulate is and true. clean. Because what did you refer to her, her as? Was it him that called her a stinky old woman? I uh, that wasn't maybe. Biden. I don't know. Who knows? Else. Yeah, one of the other Democrats. Yeah, yeah. a Russian warship, the Admiral Gorshkov has transited the Panama Canal, and it's now sailing around the Caribbean. Uh, Russian uh, warships in uh, an American lake. Uh, is this something that we should be concerned about, uh, John? Not at all. Okay. That's the end uh, of the discussion. Uh, so I, what happened, okay, does, how many people, by a show of hands here, how many people uh, uh, believe that uh, U.S. warships were in the Black Sea in January? Raise your hand. Oh, I'm oh, sure, well, sure we had at least one. So and we and we have <laughs> American warships in the South China Sea and American warships in the uh, in the last Balkan time sea, I checked the Arctic Baltic Ocean. Sea, Arctic yeah. Ocean where last time I checked, uh, Panama Canal was owned by this country called Panama. Yeah. And and uh, the uh, Caribbean or Caribbean, as the English correctly say, <laughs> um, is is not uh, part of sovereign U.S. soil. It's not within our territorial waters. And, you know, if you, if you go back to the Monroe Doctrine, which Kennedy, another Democrat, by the way, threw out the window, you know, when it came to Cuba, then maybe you got something. But, I mean, really, who cares? I'm, I would care more that both of these economies that are, are suffering horribly in, in different ways, ours, because we're trying to pay for Medicare for all, and theirs because they're trying to come out of the Stone Ages and have people live past 50, um, are wasting money on, on these, you know, billion dollar boondoggles that go through the Panama Canal and drive around the Black Sea. I mean, who cares? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I mean, if you're any country in the world, what do we got? We got troops, the U.S. has troops in 160 countries or something, something like that. not something counting uh, the, the Marines that we have in our embassies. Uh, how, are, how can we possibly be upset about uh, one frigate, frigate's a pretty small ship, and its support vessels going through the Panama Canal? I mean, I don't think there's, who cares? That's my, that's my rant on that one. Okay. Uh, the Department you want a of, rant? I gave you one. Yeah, well, I, we, we love it. We love a rant from John. The uh, Department of Homeland Security. I mean, this is a good one for a rant. Department of Homeland Security. I'm ready. I got my rant. Ready. <laughs> Let me tell you. Has put biometric analysis. It's uh, is going to be putting its biometric analysis platform. That would be fingerprints, iris scans, face scans, DNA, uh, palm prints, scars. And, and tattoos, <laughs> all of them are going to be going on the Amazon cloud. I'm sure that's going to be very secure. Right, John? Well, actually, if, if anybody could get it right, it would probably be Amazon because they're like magical, man. I just think about stuff and it appears there. And <laughs> I order it and the next day it's at my house. No. And if they could just get it there without a box this big for something in it this big, I'd be happy. Um, I, I, you know, if if one man can encrypt something, another person can decrypt it at least to a certain point. Um, you know, all these things that are supposed to be absolutely secure, the bank that you can't rob, the 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 coin you can't counterfeit, the system you can't hack. Uh, there's always a smarter gal or smarter guy uh, who's going to get at it. The idea that this is abhorrent to me for another reason. Why in the hell does Department of Homeland Security, which I don't even think is actually constitutional, can have all this information and can, uh, you know, bandy it about and store it and all the rest of that? Um, I think that's the big problem. Um, the, the idea that this Department of Homeland Security can keep our homeland doesn't, when they came up with that name after, not, was it after 9 11, yeah, right? Yeah. 
Didn't it strike you as, didn't it have the ring of Nazi Germany to it? I was going to say, this is I a just, throwback to the Third Reich. Homeland. Homeland. Yes. Yeah. Homeland. And, and, and but actually, it's, been, it's been a couple of generations and people forget. And, and I think the original uniforms they proposed look a little bit like the brown shirts as well. But then they, you know, started hiring people who were janitors to, you know, make sure that we're safe when we get on an airline. Um, so that's what's important to me. And, and if, you know, Amazon's generally, I don't remember too many stories about data breaches at Amazon. I think they've got some awfully good programmers working for them. But the, the I mean, James, you're, you're way more tech guy well, than I am. From the data aspect, Amazon's much more secure than the federal government. I mean, if I'm going to trust to, to protect my data, the federal government or Amazon, I'll go with Amazon any day of the week. It's just, they're better at it. Amazon Cloud is actually, you know, one of the world's biggest. Netflix uses Amazon mm -hmm. Cloud. So the Amazon Cloud is one of the biggest and the best cloud performers out Good there. Point. So that part of it doesn't yeah. bother me. But the whole data collection part of it does, right? There's no reason to have all this data collection in a single failure point. You know, it, it should be hard to get to, not easy to it get to. It should be to. dispersed, not, not they, right. you know, supposedly the cloud's dispersed, but you know, once you go through that door, once you're on the other side well, of that door, not so much you're that, on the other it's side. It's not of that it. part I'm worried about. It's that I don't want the various agencies to be able to get to it easily. The Department of Homeland Security gets. I don't want the FBI to well, get the Department of Homeland Security data easily. But there's a counterpoint to that. Uh, Sacramento County District Attorney Anne Marie Schubert recently got an award for using DNA evidence to pin down a ex-policeman who killed dozens of people. Yeah, and she had to go through the chain and then they it's were able to do it. So instead of having just go to have her direct access to the database, no, no, she had to go through the proper thing. chain. Three people's no, yes, okay. Went to 23 and me or something. Yeah, well, they did, but they still had to go through a whole link of people to get through it rather than just yes. her doing it all on her own. All and right. if and a centralized system yeah, I'm not, leads I'm not that sure. I'm not sure that's true. I think I think that's I think if you give your DNA to 23 and me well, you've given or ancestry.com, yes. you've basically give, signed away yes. your rights well, in the fine print. Actually, and I've done that. Uh, one of them actually just I recently agreed to do when it. One of them just said they signed a contract. Say with that that's public. Somebody. It's in the public. 23 and me uh, is uh, so the the, uh, the uh, primary officers in 23 and me are very closely related to the primary officers in Google. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, an ultimate data collection, uh, DNA data collection uh, uh, outfit. It's you know, like Google collects your browsing information mm -hmm. so they can sell you stuff. Not anymore. <laughs> 23, I mean, the, the, uh, the DNA people, they collect your DNA so they can figure out what's wrong with you and sell you stuff. Well, not I'm all that. right with them selling me stuff, just so long as they don't specifically identify, just so long as, oh my God, you just made me worry. Not that I'm going to commit any crimes. Um, <laughs> well, they'll change tomorrow. the definition of crime. Not that I'm <laughs> <gonna commit laughs> remember, remember, tomorrow. John, three felonies a day. But if everybody, if, if DHS can 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 get a FISA warrant for my D for my DNA at 23andMe, then nobody is <laughs> nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. When you think yeah. about that, yeah. well, um, no, nobody's. My wife yeah, actually, likes safe mystery novels and TV shows and movies and. I could speculate. Somebody got you a sample of the DMA. They could replicate it, and they could spread it on a crime scene and implicate you, couldn't well, they? Well, they don't even need to or do me. it. We've, we've seen the FBI crime lab was just busted like two years ago for about fabricating data. So they can just say, we tested it and write and say, yeah, Yeah, here we, we got 17 it. points of match right here. Here's our printout right here. Yeah, and they well, can wait, just fake it. Show us the actual DNA. So the, oh, we lost that. Yeah. Yeah, and so they've already, we've already been proven that they fake this kind of thing at the FBI crime lab. So it can already be done. You don't even have to spread it around the this crime scene. You and can you just, just do it in the lab. Pretend you did it. And, yeah. and I mean, I, the, we're all following. I mean, the U.S. is all following the the Chinese the communist Chinese model, which is their social credit system, where they actually uh, keep track of every. You know, they've got cameras everywhere. So if they catch you jaywalking or uh, pushing and shoving or using, you know, making obscene gestures to the uh, gendarme, whatever. It all goes into a big data bank that tells you whether you're a good citizen or a bad citizen. And if you're a bad citizen, good luck getting uh, on an airplane or even a bus. If you're a good citizen, hey, step to the front of the line. That's the th kind of thing that it actually could lead to and is going, is, is, is happening in China. I wonder if my light rail pass wouldn't work. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> They're regarding a corrupt government 
Um, there is a fascinating book. Can't think of the title right now, but the author is uh, first name M A N C U R Moncour, maybe Olson, and he describes uh, life in the Soviet Union, which is a corrupt government if there ever was one. It and, and motivates people to be corrupt. So they had a corrupt society because they had a corrupt government. And the corrupt society was well, yeah, it's black, you know, we, 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 will, we will pretend to work if you pretend to pay us. Pretty much that. Yeah, well, you have to become corrupt in order to survive the corrupt government. Yeah, and so yes. it, it's, it's corruption like becomes a necessity. favorite yeah. story from Ronald Reagan uh, where he, he tells of the man who finally saved up enough money to buy a car in communist Russia. They said, well, you can pick up your car 10 years from now. And the guy says, in the morning or the afternoon? <laughs> you remember this one? And he said, well, why does it make any difference? He said, because the plumber's coming in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Centralized planning. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yes. In Huntington, Huntington Park, California, this is another uh, interesting development along the lines of uh, science fiction coming to life. They have a RoboCop, uh, a little robot that patrols the public parks and goes here and good there. Good morning. And says good, good morning, morning to you. Have yes, a good day, day sir. Or yes, it's, a, it's an open microphone and camera that walks around, pretends to be a nice little it's courteous, courteous and, thing. And it yeah. doesn't shoot. It doesn't shoot. Well, no, it Not doesn't yet. shoot anybody. But Not it's got yet. it's got cameras and microphones, so it can you know monitor everything that goes around in its in its area. And it's just a little, I don't know, it's like a little, it looks like, kind of like R2-D2, like R2 but a little D2 couple, well, couple feet higher. It's made, to, it's, yeah. made, it's, it's, it's made to look like R2-D2, I think. Yeah, it must be, but, yeah. or that, you know, it's the kind of a size. I wonder if it has the same kind of voice. So that, so that no, it's no, a different totally. kind of voice. It's just a nice little computerized. I, I, okay, <laughs> anything to worry about here, or is this just another improvement in law enforcement? Sounds technique? like a good idea. It's just Bring more. It my, my, my it's GPS just more surveillance. We're just, calculating. We're so this calculating. is more. This is mobile surveillance as opposed to fixed point surveillance. Yes, exactly. Yes, your social credit. It's this is how they're going to be able to see if you're jaywalking or well, speeding I mean, on the they side. already so, have who, cameras on, on they already have cameras on patrol cars that, that read license plates and so they can tell if your license plate is from out of state and you spend way too much time in one uh, city in California they'll go after you for not paying your California so license I have a question. Tax. Let, let's let's take the bet now how soon before uh, somebody hits the camera eyes on it with a paintball <laughs> I mean well, they, they will how, be seen before it happens, mm -hmm. they will be on film. Nah. There's a good example. Camouflage. Came right? from, <laughs> good example. Uh, came six from months. Steve <laughs> Reed. That long? Who's the now retired. It'll take him some time to figure out the, yeah. the pattern. Steve was the now and retired. Speaking, and speaking of, of uh, our uh, <clears throat> uh, corporate betters looking after us, Facebook community standards are making sure that we follow those community standards, except. What the hell are they? Who I says mean, so? I had a post taken. I got, I, I, got a, I got a notification from Facebook saying, "You have we have taken down this a post." They didn't say what post. We have taken down one of your posts because it violates community standards. I don't know what post. I don't know what community standards it violated. Or even what community. I don't. Yeah. Wh wh what community did I join here? But what did you do? I have you no went, idea. You went and looked at your Facebook, didn't you? Yeah, that's the that's first mistake. That's what the community standard is. They want you to look at your Facebook more often. Well, I've been put in Facebook jail for things that they never actually told me about, where you're disabled from talking to Facebook, going to Facebook for 72, 48 hours, sometimes a week. Just And sometimes they tell you why. Sometimes they said you had a post that someone complained about. And okay, fine. That, well, they, they and actually, other times they, they actually don't tell you. They just You just can't log into your Facebook account for... Couple days. If I could remember how to log into mine, <laughs> I wouldn't anyway. And so I tried to take it down. And it, do you know? It's damn near impossible. It's, I they wouldn't it wouldn't let me take my birth date out of it because I stupidly put in a birth date, but it would let me change it. So one day I just became eleven years younger, <laughs> just like that. See, well, the, folks. They're, they're they're what happens when you surgery. What happens when you die? I've seen people on Facebook that are or I, I know are dead. Oh. Yes. What happened? Did you have actually, Facebook they, they just had a new policy change, but I don't remember what it was. I just they just actually just announced a new about policy deaths? change about yeah. about Facebook deaths. Yes, and but I don't remember what it was. So if you're if you're not on Facebook, does that mean you're dead? Well, yeah. 
But socially? There is competition. There are alternatives. There are yes, link, they're growing. LinkedIn is more professionally oriented. And there's me, we. And I, that organization say, well, in case we get wiped out by Facebook, switch over to me, we, and we'll. Isn't me, me, we is the Chinese one, right? And the, I there's no also idea. yeah, I mean, we is Chinese. Yeah. There's also yeah. Mines. I think Mines is another one. I think that's more uh, of a. It's like based on a, the same the cryptocurrency. What was the one that was a precursor crypto. to uh, Facebook? Uh, oh, well, MySpace. Face, uh, MySpace, yeah. yeah. That's still around, I think. Is yeah, it? yeah, they do music now. I think mostly is it's it? a music okay. outlet. I don't know. <laughs> it's well, speaking of deaths, we have Facebook deaths, and we have actually pe actual people dying in the Dominican Republic. Uh, Lee, is that something that would make you uh, think twice about going to? An all-inclusive uh, beach resort where you can get where you can drink all you want. Well, we'll set aside the business about alcohol, which is America's most dangerous drug. <laughs> but uh, uh, tourist mysterious deaths is a puzzle, and the first thing that comes to my mind is the uh, what was once called Legionnaire's disease. Mm. Do you remember that? I remember, remember that. that. Legion, it American kind of went Legion away, and I don't know where it went. Well, it's same they place as toxic mold. Well, it was a it was a microbe uh, called Legionella, and it, you can test for it. It can be treated, and you have to wonder about that. And that's assuming that it was accidental and fortuitous. Um, if it was intentional, you have to think about um, carbon monoxide. But they could have tested for that. Cyanide gas could test for that too. Um, what is the, uh, I think the, uh, when there was a terrorist uh, hostage situation in a Russian school, they vaporized uh, some narcotic and sprayed it into the school to disable just about everybody there and resuscitate the kids. That didn't work very well, did it? Well, I think a they resuscitated the kids. A lot of people got, got killed in that firestorm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to wonder about that and um, are there diseases? Uh, they eat the same food, drink the same beverages. Is there a common link? Swim, Why does swim, swim in the same pool. Said, and this link that you, you were nice enough to send out at the end of it said fake news. It says Dominican Republic Health Well, Ministry the, the uh, Dominican says Republic says is claiming that it's fake news. Ah, the, okay. the, the government, the, the Dominican government. The they, there. They, yeah. they're, they're, they're lying and they're sticking to it. Okay. okay. All right. I would, you know, again. Uh, you didn't read the link, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I must admit that I did not read that one. We only had like how many shows to do <laughs> that you didn't tell me about when you said when I was going to do the show. Well, I read, it came I, as a surprise. Uh -huh. I read the article from sources that did not claim to be fake news. Yeah. And Donald J. Trump did not claim they were fake news, so I figured yeah. maybe it was a legitimate story. Yeah, see, I think I think we were talking about this, maybe not this show, but another show where, you know, there's all sorts of these incidents of basically diseases that have been stamped out reappearing. I mean, when polio starts reappearing, you know, because supposedly polio is wiped out through, and, throughout yeah, and, the, and, and the, and the and world and smallpox. And smallpox, except for uh, research labs uh, in, in, in military uh, well, in, in, apparatus in, in, in Atlanta. What, well, in, 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 Department of in uh, other, whatever it is, Health other, and Human Services. Other countries oh, okay. have done the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Well, you guys are the world traveler, so you're going to have to tell me. I've read about um, suspicious deaths in other places, Mexico, Colombia, about whether tourists are given drugs so someone can come in and steal their you know, steal their passports and their money and their and, and whatnot. And then they wake up like the next day. They have no recollection of what happened the whole day before. So it's you guys, a roofie. Are the, so yeah, well, essentially. But it's a it's a plant. And you know, and in Mexico, you get killed. They wander down the wrong street and end up getting killed. Yeah, you're safer in Mexico than you are. Yeah, likely, likely. than in LA, in my, my neighborhood, probably. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm not the world traveler. So these are you guys are the ones who travel the world. So I don't know how much of a real danger these type of things I mean, actually it's like, is. Like or anything is it else, overblown. You know, there are places in. Not picking on Stockton, but there are places in oh, Stockton. Oh, let's pick on Stockton or Oakland. That, that, that works too. That well, I live in Oak Park. We can I pick on my own neighborhood. That so. I wouldn't drive through in the daytime. But then there are also beautiful areas of Stockton. There are, I visited New York for a month once when I worked for Merrill Lynch. They sent me there for training. And they gave me all these horror stories about don't go here, don't go there, and don't go there at the, you know, this time of night. And I thought, <clears> okay, thank you. I'm going to listen to that. But there are 
other areas that were fine. So, I mean, before you go anywhere, you learn a little bit about the place, you do a little research, you talk to people, there are all sorts of sites where people share information, um, and, and, and you do a good job doing that, and then there's still gonna be a chance, right? You're gonna take the wrong turn, if, if you're somewhere and it doesn't feel right or look right, get out of there. And don't experiment with street food because you don't have an iron. I mean, just to use a little bit of common sense, you know, and, and I think you'd be okay. Rand Paul has accused the deep state of protecting John Brennan's security clearance. Uh, you have any thoughts on that, uh, Lee? Well, I recall reading that John Brennan at one time voted for a communist candidate for office, so. But, uh, is that fake news? Is that real I news? I don't know. And, uh, Never heard that. But uh, based on what's going on between Donald Trump and his adversaries, something's been really messed up. Uh, we had a lot of Muslim Brotherhood representatives in the, uh, the Obama regime, and a lot of them are probably still pretty well entrenched in the, in the system. And there's evidence that, uh, well, this uh, surveillance of Donald Trump supposedly started because somebody wrote a dossier that said that he was associated with some of this. And the FISA court, what's that stand for? F-I-S-A. It's a it's, surveillance it's, act. Yeah, it's, yeah, surveillance act. It's, it's for getting search warrants. Uh, on the hush hush, and nobody exactly. knows about them. And they did, and supposedly it was justified by this dossier, which was fabricated, paid for by who? Mr. The Clinton, Clinton regime. Yeah, the, Clinton the Clinton regime. regime. Yeah. yeah. So Obama, actually. Obama's. Yeah. His no, the, the dossier was well. paid for by the Hillary Clinton yeah. campaign, yeah. and the uh, subpoena was issued by the uh, the uh, Obama Justice Department. Mm -hmm. And then, and then yeah. you read uh, revelations that uh, people. Uh, within that uh, bureaucracy said, we're going to stonewall this president. We can't accept the results of this election. And uh, can't trust any of those folks. Well, and, and you look at, the, I, I get emails from people who are you know, hard right and, and libertarian and all the rest of that. And you look at all the people, Comey and all the rest of those people, you know, you can, you can draw a pretty straight line back to, you know, the Obama-Hillary group there and why the people got in positions of power, why they were protected, you know, why, why Comey said, you know, we're not going to pursue the case against Hillary because we can't win it. I mean, the, the, the deep state exists. Anybody who thinks it doesn't. It's, just, it's just what we used to call it, the establishment. Yeah. That's the show. We've got uh, no time left, so we'll see you again next week. Same time, <laughs> same place on the Libertarian Counterpoint on the web at www.access.com, channel 17, and channel 17, of course, in Sacramento. Cable channels all over the place, as well as YouTube and Facebook. <laughs>